Station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. Big Ten play tips off tonight for Illinois, and it's a top 25 showdown at Maryland. The Terps, the surprise of the league so far, ranked 22nd and still unbeaten at 7-0. The Illini come in as the 16th team in the country. Head coach Brad Underwood 0-2 at the Illini in College Park, the only league court he hasn't won on. And it's a good start for the Orange and Blue. Sky Clark going right to the rim. Bucket and the foul. Illinois takes the lead 12-9. Offense was free-flowing early. Coleman Hawkins with the ball. Crosses over the defender straight to the rim with the reverse layup. But Maryland goes on a big run. It was 22-14. The tides changing quickly. Illini in a four-minute shooting slump. Jameer Young buries a three to make it an 11-0 run. The Charlotte transfer fired up. The crowd certainly fired up. There's ESPN. Scott Van Pelt with a courtside seat. Illinois on the wrong end of a run. Now Hawkins trying to take things into his own hands. He finishes with 16. And Illinois clawing back thanks to some defense. Here is Terrence Shannon Jr. with the big slam. Two-handed on the other end. Illinois gets within two, but ebbs and flows in this one. Back-to-back -back threes by Hakeem Hart. The Terps back up nine. We go to the second half. Illinois trying to do something. A little halftime talk from Brad Underwood. And after Terrence Shannon Jr. goes out of the game, gets a bloodied eye, big cut right above his eye. Another flush from him, but the game all comes down to this 14 seconds left and it's Jameer Young calling game he hits the three from the top of the key Terrence Shannon Jr. goes under the screen and that's it Illinois falls 71 66 the final Illinois loses its second game of the season now six and two Maryland remains unbeaten getting 24 from Jameer Young including that late three and we go Right back courtside to the Xfinity Center. Andy Olson there live for us. Man, Illinois with a great comeback, Andy, but Young with the dagger there at the end. Brett, it was so close right at the end, and really there was no better place for Illinois to get its first true road game of the season than in such an energized Xfinity Center here in College Park. One of the best atmospheres that I've seen in college basketball. Going back to that comeback that you mentioned, Terrence Shannon Jr., after coming out with the bloodied eye, taking the elbow to the face, turned it on to a new level and put the team on his back. Coleman Hawkins stepping up as well. Shannon finishing with 19 in this one, but what really killed the Illini, five of 20 from three after shooting almost 40 of them against Syracuse and living on the three ball to get the win against the Orange. Not falling tonight here on the East Coast for the Illini. Now they have to pick themselves up and it won't be an easy next game. Number two Texas awaits them in Madison Square Garden for the Jimmy V Classic. Illinois showed some signs and what can they take from this? Hopefully a learning lesson of what it's like to play in a place this loud. But Brett, Illinois showed some good signs. Not enough in the end and we see how this leads them forward starting 0-1 in Big Ten play. We'll send it back to you. All right, Andy, thank you. And another test on the East Coast Tuesday heading to Madison Square Garden.